What's up, YouTube? I'm back. Just put up a couple of videos. One was cool. One was not. If you saw it, my window's broken. Whatever. It's fucked up. This ain't about broken windows. It ain't about bad weather. It's about wrestling. So, uh, this is my video response to, uh, the great 552 and Jose's Jose 021 <clears throat> about what got me hooked into wrestling and uh I just wanted to post my rec replica belts cause you know they look all fucking badass and cool like this together but uh <clears throat> yeah the first one that they brought up was you know my favorite heel turn or most memorable heel turn my first or oh, wait, hold on. No, first it was what moment got me hooked into wrestling. Now, uh, the first moment that got me hooked into wrestling was as a kid. I mean, I watched wrestling with my dad, you know, in the late 80s, but it wasn't. WWF or anything like, that, anything like that. It was more of like Southern wrestling type, you know, like the Von Erics and stuff like that. It was cool, but I was never really just super into it. But uh, the first thing that really got me into wrestling was the Undertaker versus the Undertaker match, you know, where you had. Paul Bears, Undertaker, the Undertaker we know and love, and you had the Million Dollar Corporation's Undertaker <clears throat> duking it out at, uh, I think it was a SummerSlam, I'm not sure, I, I, I mean, it's a foggy memory, I just remember I, I loved it, but I think that's what it was, I think it was a SummerSlam, and that's the moment that just... Like, pow, knocked me right into wrestling. And I stayed tuned just constantly after that. And uh, I remember WrestleMania 10, Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon. And uh, I remember. Yeah, I remember Undertaker versus Razor Ramon, Bret Hart and Yokozuna. Mm -hmm. Remember all those matches were great, wonderful matches. But the one moment that I just remember is The Undertaker versus The Undertaker. Now, <clears throat> my favorite heel turn. My favorite heel turn was one that's not really brought up too much by many people. You know, most people talk about it. Hulk Hogan joining the NWO or Stone Cold and Vince McMahon. Or Paul Bear turning on The Undertaker. You know, things like of that nature. But the one that I remember the most was... Uh, I forgot what year it was, but... I remember I was a big DX fan. Me and my friends were huge DX fans. You know, when I was in middle school, there was these factions. Believe it or not. There was the NWO Wolf Pack. There was NWO Black and White. There were the Four Horsemen. And then we were DX. We were the guys that were playing pranks on people. I mean, there were several times where <clears throat> we actually had to go through lunch detentions. And and uh, Saturday schools and D-Halls. Because we were playing pranks on people and they didn't like it. But yeah, we were huge DX fans. And I remember it was that night that China turned on Kane and the court and it would look like she turned on the corporation. But at the end of the night, Triple H turned on DX. That moment was just one of the most memorable heel turns I will ever remember. I remember I went in my room. I almost destroyed anything that had DX with Triple H on it. I tore up a couple of action figures that were Triple H action figures. It pissed me off so much. Because 
Triple H is my guy. You know, Triple H is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. He is just, I don't know, he was just fucking cool to me. Even to this day, you know, the cerebral, cerebral assassin, you know, he's a badass guy. He's, he was fucking cool to me. I remember that pissed me off so fucking much. It was ridiculous. But, yeah, that's the heel turn I remember the most. And, uh, <clears throat> the last question was, if I could keep one belt. If I could keep one belt out of my collection. Now, the collection I have now is impressive, you know, you know, it's a lot of belts, but as, you know, just like Jose 021, I've had a lot of belts, like, a lot of belts, and I've gotten rid of a lot of them. I've done, like, tremendous amounts of trades. I wish I would have kept a video log like Jose did from the beginning, that he had all his, all his belts, so you could see exactly how many belts I traded away. It was a lot. But if I keep only one, it'd be right there. That IC title right there. That right there is my favorite design. It's been the most prestigious design ever. As I said in the other video, it's been my favorite design since I was a kid. It's just always been my most favorite belt. <laughs> and that's the one that I would keep the, the longest. Or I, that's the only one I would keep if I had to keep one. My goal is to one day own an actual Dave Milliken or Reggie Parks version. And uh, <clears throat> now to respond to Jose O21's questions about the favorite teams, about the four major sports. So, uh, number one, uh, I don't watch hockey. I've never really been into it. If I had to pick a team, I guess it'd be the Mighty Ducks because... Of the movies, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> other than that, I don't know, man. I just remember the knuckle puck. The knuckle puck was apparently the shit, so I don't know. Uh, basketball. I love the Mavericks. I love any kind of Texas team in general in basketball. You know, kind of indifferent on it. I'm more into individual basketball players than I am teams. I love Michael Jordan. I love Allen Iverson, you know, those guys were just super cool to me, <clears throat> and uh, baseball, I'm a big Rangers fan, I love the Rangers, they're from Texas, but also I love the Yankees, you know, the Yankees, I'm a, uh, I love the Yankees, and I love the Rangers, man, I, I, I mean, probably half and half, but, you know, if it came down to it, and it's the ALCS going to the World Series, I'd have to go Rangers, man, just because of my Texas roots. But I love them both. And football, that's easy. I am a die-hard Cowboys fan. Like any other sport, you know, there's a lot of good teams. There's a lot of good players. But if it comes to the NFL, any team that doesn't, that isn't the Cowboys, sucks. I love the Cowboys. If you don't love the Cowboys, you can kiss my whole family's ass. Because I love the Cowboys. My wife is a diehard Bear fans, Bear, Bears fan. And I can't stand it. I love the Cowboys. Anything that has to do with the Cowboys, I don't give a damn. If they go 0-16, they are still my team. Any other sport, you know, I wear a Heat jersey. I wear uh, a Seattle Mariners cap. I don't give a damn. If it looks cool, I'll wear it. But if it has to do with football, I'm not wearing no Philly jersey. I'm not wearing no Steelers hat. I am not going to have anything that doesn't have to do with the fucking Cowboys. Because the Cowboys are my team. I don't give a damn how cool or how long they've been around or who's doing good. Like this last year's Super Bowl, I didn't even watch it. I don't like the Steelers, and I don't like the Broncos. The Cow as soon as the Cowboys are eliminated from playoff contention, and the season's over, if they're not in the playoffs, I don't fucking watch it. I don't give a damn. Because I am a Cowboys fan until the day that I die. I don't give a fuck. 
Romo's my boy. I'm going to roll with him until the Cowboys finally release his motherfucking ass. I am a Cowboys fan. Diehard Cowboys fan. So, I mean, that pretty much concludes my response video. Shout out to Jose021, Todd Matsuaka, Gmail for Life, Seneca V, The Great 552, uh, J.R. Reed, C. Mace, I mean all you guys man, y'all keep up the good work, keep up these belt videos, keep up these wrestling videos, keep on doing what you're doing man, you guys are cool as fuck. Let's keep this wrestling community going. And uh peace out until I catch you later. And yeah, man, keep this keep these response videos going, man. I like them. I like them both. I like the wrestling one that uh the great five five two came out with and I and I love the one that Jose L twenty one came out with, man. So y'all y'all keep this shit rolling. Alright, so from down here in Texas, where the weather's fucked up, y'all keep it moving, man. Peace. Take care.